নমস্কার স্পটন নিউজে আপনাদের সবাইকে স্বাগত আমি সাগর এই মুহূর্তে আপনাদের সঙ্গে উপস্থিত রয়েছি কল্যাণী স্টেডিয়াম থেকে আর কল্যাণী স্টেডিয়ামে আজকের আই লিগ দ্বিতীয় ডিভিশনের গুরুত্বপূর্ণ ম্যাচে ইউনাইটেড স্পোর্টস মুখোমুখি হয়েছিল এসি গোয়ার সঙ্গে সেখানে কিন্তু দুর্দান্তভাবে দাপট দেখিয়ে জয়লাভ করতে পারল না ইউনাইটেড স্পোর্টস খুব কাছাকাছি বেশ কিছু সুযোগ ক্রিয়েট হয়েছিল সেই সুযোগ যদি কাজে লাগাতে পারতো ইউনাইটেড স্পোর্টসের ফুটবলাররা ফলাফল অন্যরকম হতে পারতো কিন্তু সেই সুযোগ কাজে না লাগানোর কারণে দুই শূন্য গোলে কিন্তু পরাজয়ের সম্মুখীন হতে হলো গোয়ার কাছে ইউনাইটেড স্পোর্টসকে তবে এই যে আমরা যেমনটা জানি পরপর কিন্তু তিনটে ম্যাচে হারের সম্মুখীন হতে হলো ইউনাইটেড স্পোর্টসকে দুটো হোম ম্যাচ আর একটা অ্যাওয়ে ম্যাচ হারের হ্যাটট্রিক কিন্তু হলো বললেই চলে তবে এখান থেকে কিভাবে ঘুরে দাঁড়াবে কি পরিকল্পনা করছে কোচ স্টিপ সেই সমস্ত বিষয়ে আমরা কথা বলেছিলাম তার সঙ্গে তিনি ঠিক কি জানালেন সেটাই আপনার একবার শুনে নিন কোচ What, what do I need to say more? We come back from Mumbai, I think 48 hours ago. We have one recovery session and we go in training match. Tomorrow, same team, we got one recovery session. We go back in, in train direction, uh, Bangalore. We come over there, we play. From there, we go to Mumbai, three, two days in the train. One training session again and we play. Um, furthermore, we've not had any pre-season. Uh, three days before the competition, our players came back from Adamaz University, which was a group of seven to eight players. Uh, three, four new players have joined within the last week. We did his Tapa, if it is uh, the, the striker in the midfield uh, coming from, uh, from the first division, uh, Sobik and Kunal. So, yeah, if, if, if you are not at 100% fully fit your team, you run after the ball, and today was the biggest example that we had to run after the ball a lot and, and go eyes ready to play. Um, for us, it's, uh, it's something that I've said before the start of the competition, when, uh, when we started with, with the group. But on the other hand, every match we've also shown that we, that we can do something, and that, that, that we create opportunities and that we, we create chances without being really ready. But yes, as all of you know, this is a professional competition. And this is not uh, a moment where players uh, just go on the pitch, play, go back, and it, it doesn't work like that. And, and for us, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a moment that somewhere I anticipated already before the competition, and I want for it. Um, it's something that in every meeting I've been talking about. So our main focus right now is still the same. Within the next two matches, we need to gather as many points as possible, where it is possible. And then we got a six week break, where hopefully, hopefully, because there is another Kilo India with uh, Adamas University starting, hopefully we can keep our players and we can focus on the second part, which is around is, is eight matches. And then we have a team which is fully fit. Because if it is not the case, yeah, we will struggle. And, and at the end, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's easy now to look at the players, maybe one or how. But every team, if it is combinations, if it is being ready, if it is playing the ball around, if it is communication, everything is on training session. And for us, it is clear that right now, without training session, it's a very tough competition. And, and we are struggling on, on certain moments, and as we see, First half, they get two opportunities, two or three opportunities, um, and it's two goals. And we create the same amount of opportunities on our side, and we just we don't finish it. But yeah, it's like I say, uh, right now our focus needs to be on Mangaluru, our focus needs to be on trying to get points against the leader, because we know I don't know what the results of Mangaluru is today. Uh, but uh, yeah, maybe that could be a turning point for us with another match in, in Mumbai afterwards. Without training session, it is it is not possible to play competition. But in, at the end, this is in every transfer period. Uh, whatever competition that you're playing, players are coming into the 31st. That's that's in Europe the same team. It's it's happened to you also. And of course, every coach wants to have on the first day of pre-season wants to have the whole squad. That's how it needs to be. But it doesn't work like this, and we all know this. Biggest factor, as I keep saying, is we've had a very <coughs> troublesome pre-season. Only three, four days before the competition, there were seven players at Dalmat University. They joined. They played six matches within ten days. 
And that's what you see right now. We know well enough, and Nadu, for example, our captain is the leader of the pitch who, who, who takes the game with his feet. In my eyes right now, he's tired. He's tired of playing every four days, he's tired of playing six matches within ten days, and it is difficult to immediately put someone else there, because also for me as a coach, I need to know them, I need to understand what my players are doing. And I cannot blame anything on my players, and I will not blame anything on management either, because we all know how difficult it is right now, and we all know what, what the club is, is going through and, and what we are trying to do day in, day out. So for me, I, I'm not starting on a blame game and I'm not starting what we have because there is no point in doing that.